hi welcome back to my channel my name is lily i haven't filmed a youtube video in a year because now i only film youtube videos when it is my birthday because i just like to memorialize what i have learned throughout the past year because you learn a lot in a year so here we are again i am turning 26 today if you know me wish me happy birthday if you don't you can also wish me happy birthday. Anyways, let's just get started. Something that I learned this year is that when you go get a haircut, you need to bring a picture as an example, because if not, they're gonna mess up your bangs, they're gonna look crazy, and every time you do your hair, they're gonna be something like this. This year I learned that there's no such thing as a perfect job. So I thought that professional organizing was my dream job. I've done it for a while. I realized it's not really the perfect job for me, but it also goes to show that all jobs that you try will have something that you don't love about them in it, and that's okay. There's no such thing as finding the perfect job. There's just finding a job that you enjoy most most of the time. For a while it's been my goal to learn how to make friends as an adult but one way that I found to make friends this year was joining a recreational sport. So I joined a recreational kickball league and made a bunch of friends in the area by doing that. You don't have to be good at sports to join one of them. I'm horrible at kickball but I really enjoyed myself because I got to make friends. No matter how old you are it's okay to go back to school if that's something that you want to do. I'm back in school now and I think it's okay. <laughs> Your body is not something that needs to be fixed. For a long time it was something that I would focus on where my body was always the problem but it's not not the problem. You need to focus on the emotions that you feel around your body and start accepting it for what it is. And it's a powerhouse that takes care of you all the time. I'm taking anatomy right now and it's amazing all the things that our bodies do for us. Knowing the right choice doesn't always make the choice easier. Actually, most of the time, I don't think it helps at all. For example, if you need to go through a breakup, but you don't want to, but it's an important step in your journey in life, it doesn't make it easier that you know that, oh, this is the right choice and I need to do it. It's still really hard and you still have to go through the pain and the emotions that you have to feel but it is important to make those decisions. Making an effort is cool, and also wearing sunscreen is cool. Being aloof and being cool in the eyes of like, I don't know, <laughs> a high school drama TV show isn't the same as being cool. Making an effort with friends, with relationships, with family, whatever it is, is a cool thing to do, and your life will be a lot better when you make an effort. An overreaction to something is probably a reaction to something deeper. For example, if somebody says something that in the past was used against you, it might trigger something in you and have an overreaction and maybe figuring out what you're actually upset about will help you in the long run. Uh, mopeds are sick as hell. I don't know how to word this one exactly, but no matter how much you think you're over something, you might still have residual feelings in the future about it. And it could be sadness, it could be, you know, regret, whatever it is. For example, with my body image issues, I've been working through them and I have really improved on them, but there's still days when I have negative body image. It doesn't mean that I've failed or I haven't learned. It's just that sometimes residual feelings will be there and you kind of have to get through those and just keep moving forward. I think that happiness in life is about finding happiness in small things. I have decided at the right old age of 26. <laughs> okay, so I saw this TikTok and it was saying how we should live our life differently throughout each season. So that's something that I think that I've struggled with in the past because winter is really hard for me in Michigan because it gets dark so early, it's so cold all the time, it's really not that sunny. And so I have been miserable the whole time every time I'm in winter. But what it said is you should start living your seasons differently. So the way that you live in winter doesn't have to be the way that you live in the summertime or the spring or the fall. Every season has its own perks and downfalls. In the winter, I'm going to start living more cozy and like focusing on making my my space cozy and having candles and watching TV shows I like, you know, finding the happiness in small things, but within the context of living in different seasons. Running away from your problems will not solve your problems. Unfortunately, it will probably just elongate your problems and make you deal with them further in the future. So look out for your future self by just dealing with them in the moment. It's okay to be good at planning things and to plan things. You don't always have to expect other people to invite you to things. You can plan something and people will be definitely willing to come. I've always had a struggle with like being the only person who plans things, but that's okay. I'm a planner and that's who I am. When you notice yourself avoiding something, maybe take a step back and reflect and question why am I avoiding this and what does that mean? Should I go for it instead? This is like the most basic advice ever, but communication is key in relationships. And that doesn't just include relationships like a lover. Sorry, it was lover. <laughs> relationships like romantic relationships it also is relationships with your family, relationships with your friends. Any relationship you have, you have to communicate because people cannot read your mind. This is really cheesy basic advice as well. Don't hold back your love or your affection for people just because you feel like, I don't know, there's so many reasons that people could not want to tell people that, but I think it's so important to share with others that you love them and that they're important to you in your life, period. I'm really trying to learn how to relax and not constantly have to be doing something or if I am relaxing, feeling bad about relaxing, it's okay to just take a break 
and take care of yourself. <laughs> I always just like write this list like really fast and then <laughs> reading it back sometimes is funny. This one says, it's okay to not like people who like you. And this means more romantically, sometimes I've gone into these relationships because I'm like, oh, well they like me and I like that. <laughs> that sounds so bad. So if somebody tells you, oh, I like you, you can be like, thank you without having to reciprocate those romantic feelings. And that seems like such a basic concept and everybody should know that already. But I learned that this year. <laughs> And this, like, this is a side note. It goes along with, like, if you go on a date with somebody and you're not interested, don't ghost them. Just tell them you're not interested. Every time that I've done that, people have been so receptive and very kind about it. It doesn't hurt just to be like, I'm not interested. Don't ghost people. That is rude. Coping mechanisms and habits can be changed. Your coping mechanism can be drinking, numbing yourself, watching TV, watching TikToks. There's so many different ways that you can cope with things. And those are also sometimes okay, but it's just that they can be changed if you want them to. So taking a break from social media is really rejuvenating for me personally. I don't know how other people feel about it. I've noticed a lot that when I feel anxiety, I start just scrolling endlessly, but instead I take a second. Maybe I breathe. Maybe I sit there and stretch. Maybe I go and walk on the treadmill. There's different ways that I can cope when I don't have social media to distract me. I'm not saying social media is all bad and I love seeing parts of other people's lives. Sometimes when I delete it, it gives me a moment to just be by myself and the person who I want to be and be more in the moment. I just suggest them for anybody who feels stressed. Delete social media, see how you feel then. So as I'm turning 26, I feel like I am getting old. <laughs> the first video of these I made, I think I was 22. So that was a long time ago. COVID obviously uh, took a lot from everybody. And so it took up the early years of my 20s and a lot of other people's lives. And it's just interesting looking back. And for a while I was sitting in regret. I didn't go to school when everybody else did and I didn't find a life path and things like that. Now I'm reframing it and being like, I had so many great experiences because I didn't go to school, because I didn't start a adult job right out of school, right out of college, whatever. I think that everybody's life experiences are valid, but comparing yourself to others' life experiences is not healthy and not helpful. Back to the making friends thing as an adult, I think it's pretty easy to make friends if you're open to new experiences and open to meeting new people. As long as you're willing to make an effort, I believe that other people are also willing to make an effort and everybody's looking for a new friend. So as long as you're kind to other people and willing to be inclusive, I think that's a great way to do it. I think this was 26, I'm not super sure. I wrote out 26, but I hope I said them all. 25 has been an interesting year for me and 26 hopefully will be even more interesting. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. And and I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye.